quick update on some of the recent uh, issues you guys have been having with your uh, editor. Um, the first one was some people have asked what's happening when we go and change the buttons, why the double icon is happening there. Um, super easy to fix, just a, a tiny bug. I'm sure they'll have that fixed shortly. But if you come into where um, I'm using the uh, version 2 of the editor, if you come into advanced on the button itself, go into your icon picker and just clear it, uh, you'll see that it's gone back to having one again. If I go back now and change my um, uh, wording there, that one will go away. So that um, erroneous one that was showing up uh, is, uh, is really easy to get rid of. Um, and that will fix that nice and easy there. So just go in and click the delete button, um, go and edit your button, uh, and then uh, the icon is back again, and you won't have that duplication. The other one is on the custom CSS. So uh, if you do, um, you will note that the new editor has its CSS in a special location. So um, for uh, wording and things like that within the actual settings itself. You've got get, get CSS info. That used to be on the top in the old editor. Um, a lot of people ask what on earth the settings were at the top of that page. They've made them quite easy now. So get CSS info. So the top is the, the title, um, which you can update, and the CSS um, ID selector, uh, which is where um, you can access that. So uh, if you want to update the CSS for an element, uh, this is the ID. You can call it by ID. Just copy and paste that into your CSS editor into here, uh, and that will update that. And you can put in um, anything you like as far as the CSS. So what I've no noticed, and I actually don't have any custom CSS on this page, which is unfortunate, but the um, uh, what I've noticed is some people having some issues where some of their custom CSS isn't working anymore. Um, and what I found is that that ID has recently changed on some pages. So in uh, some of the fixes that we're doing for people, we've noticed that the CSS ID, um, instead of it being uh, so 60797 there, it'll actually be um, 60797-123. Uh, so if you go into your um, areas where you have changes, so let's say we had um, um, a strike through or something on here, so a lot of people have strike throughs on their um, uh, on their pricing, if they're going to offer a discount on their pricing, that strike through. Uh, is done via a CSS. So inside your CSS, you would have that the uh, title element um, uh, requires a strike through. That title element, you might note, has changed. So the ID, so just check the ID for the elements in your CSS. To make sure that the ID is still the same as it was prior to the update. All right, hope that was helpful, guys. Uh, and any issues, just reach out. Thanks.